Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming 15 new thriller releases. These all come out in April or May, so kind of a spring thriller release video, if you will. And I'm super excited. We're gonna dive right in. I am using a new camera for the first time, so I'm hoping the settings and everything look okay. We're gonna find out, but let me know if you if you like it, hopefully it's good. So our first one is called Darling Girls by Sally Hepworth, and this is coming out on April 23rd, 2024. And this one's all about sisterhood, secrets, love, and murder. Our main characters in this are three girls, Jessica, Nora, and Alicia, and basically they were rescued from some family tragedies and adopted by a foster mother, Miss Fairchild, out on this very idyllic farm, and she was a very loving foster mother. But she had her rules, and she had some pretty strict ones, and for one reason or another, these gals all disconnected themselves from her over time. Because they knew that Miss Fairchild could be unpredictable, and you should never ever cross her. Well, everything brings them back together years later, because a body is found underneath her house, Miss Fairchild's house. I'm so intrigued like that absolutely the premise of that sounds amazing super interesting I love a good like female centric thriller where we're kind of going back and like tackling past issues and things and learning about the past and like uncovering secrets so this one sounded right up my alley if you like a friend drama or vacation thriller I think you're gonna like this one it's called Friends in Napa by Sheila Yasmin Marikar and this is coming out on April 1st. So our main characters in this are Raj and Rachel and they are I think a married couple and they're inviting a small group of their college friends to Napa for like a very luxurious weekend. So we're having you know luxury restaurants, lots of fun experiences but things start off kind of rocky when the first night a brick is flung through like the window of like the restaurant or wherever they're staying which is a bit unsettling. Some secrets start to come out about like unrequited crushes and different issues in the past, like all friends have, but I think these will be a little darker than the average friend probably. And then everything comes to a peak when one of the friends ends up dead. This has everything written all over it that I love for a thriller. I love a good weekend thriller. I love friend drama. I love past secrets coming out. This sounds like so much fun. Coming out on April 16th, 2024, we have Lost to Dune Road by Kara Thomas. So our main character in this one is reporter Lee, and she, in the past, she had gained a lot of public accolade for this investigation into a murder. However, this attention turns bad when she is kind of blamed for a suspect's death because of a mistake she makes in the investigation. So fast forward a couple years later and you know, she's not good. She's not, she doesn't have the national attention that she was hoping for with her career. Things aren't going so well. And then our second character kind of comes in and her name is Amanda and she is a pregnant college student who is in a coma. Now the doctors think that she might have been trying to take her own life, but her family and like friends insist that this isn't so. And the interesting thing is, is that she has a piece of paper in her backpack with Lee's name and like phone number on it. There's also some intrigue into Amanda's life because they don't know who the father is and they also don't know who's paying for like her luxury penthouse. Sounds like a pretty interesting deal right there. The thing that connects Amanda to the past case is that she was found on Dune Road, which is where the previous murder victim was found. Plus she's got Lee's name and like phone number in her bag. So now Lee is diving into this case and trying to see if she can help save Amanda, figure out what's going on, get justice for her, and solve the previous case. This one sounds absolutely fascinating. I love the premise for this. Let me know what you guys think down below. Next we have one by Megan Miranda, who I've read a couple books from. I don't think I've ever had like a five star hit with her, but I've always enjoyed what I've read so far. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out. And this one is called Daughter of Mine. It's coming out on April 9th, 2024. Our main character in this one is Hazel Sharp, and she is the daughter of a longtime detective in a small town. And she's unexpectedly returning home to her hometown because she inherits her father's like home and stuff, so it sounds like he's passed away. But she's not the only thing to come back to like haunt her 10 years later. She's back in the town, she's kind of uneasy, and things are starting to come back up with her coming back into town and this drought, which starts to like lower the water level in the lake and there are some things that might be coming up as the water levels drop. And some of these things might tie in to Hazel's mother's disappearance that went unsolved. Very interested. This one sounds like 
a really fun time. I've already put this one on hold at my library and there was already a wait list for it. So I'm really hoping this will be a good one. If you are a fan of Lucy Foley and Ruth Ware, this next one is a recommendation for you according to the Amazon page. This one's coming out on May 14th, 2024. It's called The Off Season by Amber Coey. So we're following a character named Jane, and she's a documentary filmmaker who's recently had a bit of a setback. She's taking some time off, so her and her husband and her husband's daughter, so her stepdaughter Sienna, go out to this hotel. And it's the off season, so it's pretty empty, and her husband's a contractor, so he's doing repairs and like renovations on the place, and he's doing this under the watchful eye of the owner, Peter. But she's really unsettled by this like cold, dark presence that Peter has, and she starts to ask her husband questions, and he immediately immediately shuts down and Sienna, his daughter, starts to become very like belligerent, like she pushes back. She's like, something's up. So Jane starts to dig into it, probably using some of her documentary filmmaker skills, I would imagine. And the more she uncovers, the more she's like, do I know the person I married at all? And there are also some strange disappearances that had happened over the years in this hotel. So, so many fascinating elements. There's also a giant like rainstorm that threatens to like flood the place. So we have like the natural disaster kind of element as well to kind of up the ante. So I'm very excited for this one. This next one I have mixed feelings about because I actually read book one. This is book two of the series. I read book one and I actually DNF'd it, but book two sounds so good that I'm like, maybe I should try it again. I think you can read them out of order. This one's by Claire McIntosh. It's called A Game of Lies. Coming out on April 23rd, 20. 24 and this is book two of the DC Morgan thriller series and the reason I want to read this is because I am a sucker for like a reality TV show setting for a thriller I think it's perfect it's so fun so this one takes place we have seven reality TV show contestants and they didn't really know what they were getting into with the show but the show's premise is that each of them has a secret each of them has a secret that they really want to stay secret and whoever can un ravel other people's secrets they will expose the other person and they get like eliminated from the show so very high stakes and it's high stakes enough that one of them actually ends up dead so who had a secret that was worth killing for to keep it protected this is when dc morgan gets involved and she knows there's a murderer on the loose but all of the contestants had an alibi so who had a secret worth killing and who like led to the contestants disappearance so very interesting premise i might give this a try let me know if you read the first book what your thoughts were i just i don't know something about the writing didn't really appeal to me but this sounds so good that i'm like maybe i should try it again <laughs> this next one is very chilly it's called cold to the touch a thriller by kiri hakoda and this is coming out on april 9th 2024 it's described as american predator meets harlan coven so this one takes place in the dead of an Alaskan winter, and it's very high stakes. It's actually following a murder spree, so very, very intense. Basically, it starts with the body of a barista who is found dead in the snow, and detective, the homicide detective Beans is really upset to find her body because he actually recognizes her. He knew her from his morning coffee. She was a bright young college student working her way through college, and he's just devastated, and he vows to solve the mystery, get revenge for her. He has to ask for help from his ex who was like a wildlife expert because unfortunately her body had been damaged by some wildlife so there's not a lot of evidence that the forensic team could really pull from her body to help them solve the case and as he's doing this another murder strikes and another and the FBI get involved so they're working really hard to stop this murder spree because there's some kind of serial killer on the loose so a very intense it sounds like a very dark thriller but I thought this one had an interesting premise this next one comes out on April 9th, and it's called The Vacancy in Room 10, a thriller by Serafina Nova Glass. And this one's the most anticipated for a lot of big websites like Nerd Daily and Novel Suspects. So this one sounds like a bit of like a domestic thriller slash like secretive thriller. We have our main character, Anna, and her husband calls her up one day, and he's a very like mild-mannered, consistent like artist. He's not you know, she knows him, right? Well, he calls her up and he gives her this big time guilty confession and she refuses to believe it until his body washes ashore and then she's just stunned and she's like, well, I gotta fit, like, what is going on? So she ends up actually checking into this place called the Sycamores, which is a rundown motel turned like studio rentals. So her husband was renting one of the rooms as a studio for his art. She starts to talk to his neighbors and she's discovering and putting together a very different picture of her husband than the one she knew. 
So what exactly is going on there? On top of that, the motel manager seems determined to keep Anna in the dark. So she's got a lot going against her. I thought this one sounded really fascinating. Really tragic, but very fascinating. This next one I'm excited for, but a little hesitant because it definitely involves a lot of mental health topics and sometimes those can be really tricky, I think, for an author to pull off in a good way sometimes. I don't know, I've been burned by like the silent patient before. This one is called One of Us Knows, a thriller by Alyssa Cole, and it's coming out on April 16th. It's called a very thought-provoking thriller. Our main character is Kenetria, she goes by Ken. And she had a breakdown years ago because of her disassociative identity disorder and this really derailed her career as like a historical preservationist. But after years of her alters being dormant, she is given an opportunity to relaunch her career and she takes it. However, it's a very remote location as you can kind of tell the creepy cover um, is what really caught my attention. And she arrives on this like island to take this job. She discovers that there's been a surprise visit and she is trapped on this island with possibly dangerous strangers. So she's gonna have to rely on herself to really solve this and keep herself safe. And she's also got to beat this like race against time. I guess it's very high stakes. And she's also got to prove her own innocence because there is some doubt thrown into that. So it sounded very interesting. I'm, I don't know, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm interested in it. It sounds like it could be a very like, the description says a very thought-provoking thriller, so I'm curious what you guys think. Our next one is called High Society by Daniel Kala, and it's coming out on May 28th, 2024. So this one actually has a bit of a mental health um, edge to it as well. So our main character is Holly, and at age 16, she was rescued from a car wreck that killed her father and almost killed her. And during her recovery, she was actually put on some psychedelics to help with her recovery. Years later, she's now a really renowned psychiatrist, and she's actually exploring these psychedelics to help people who are struggling with addiction. And despite the risks and it being a very like new treatment method, she pursues it and a lot of her patients are having success, including one celebrity patient who actually goes on to praise her very publicly. However, things kind of take a turn for the worse when a different client ends up passing away and overdosing on those same psychedelics. So kind of a an interesting thing there and she then goes and reaches out to her ex-husband who actually happens to be her mentor for advice and help because she's feeling really conflicted she's really you know she's really trying to help people but it seems like she's doing more harm than good and is there like some kind of ulterior motive like is someone else maybe pulling strings behind like what is it is it the actual treatment method is there something else going on is someone using her maybe to cover up something I don't really know but this one did have I was very interested in the premise for this one and I just very interested in the fact that she's like a pioneering psychiatrist she's got a lot of dark secrets maybe something to do with her own past as well we're gonna find out apparently but that is high society next we have safe and sound this is coming out on April 23rd and it's written by Laura McHugh so we have Amelia and Kylie and they are sisters and about six years ago they were being babysat by their cousin Grace who was a bit older. She actually was just about to wrap up her college degree and get out of this like kind of deadbeat small town she, and it's very rare apparently for anyone to kind of escape the town. So she was really excited and she was really inspiring to Amelia and Kylie. However that night those two girls are found safe and sound that's the the title but grace is gone she's disappeared and she left a bloody trail in the kitchen so it's not looking good whether she was attacked or worse they don't really know they never got a conclusion for that but fast forward six years later amelia and kylie are now graduating high school and they want to escape this town as well but they've kind of taken grace's death or disappearance as a warning and they're scared to do so about at the same time, remains are found in town and Amelia and Kylie start to put together who might have actually done this to their cousin. Very interesting premise. I, again, like I really like a good like kind of past cold case, meets with the future and things start to happen. I like this. I like that the same two girls are gonna be involved in maybe solving their cousin's disappearance and that they're sisters. I like a good family. I like a, a family like connection with thrillers. I think that really makes it interesting. So I'm excited for this one. If you're someone who likes kind of a rich people drama thriller, <laughs> this one would be for you. This is called Under the Palms, a novel by Kara Ruda. This is actually book two of the Kingsley thriller series and it's coming out on May 21st, 2024. Now I 
don't want to go too much into the actual description for book two because it kind of gives spoilers for book one. So I'm going to tell you about Beneath the Surface, which came out last year and I read it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was, it was fun. Not like an all-time favorite, but definitely fun. I'm looking forward to book two. Basically, we have this enormously wealthy family, like impossibly wealthy, you would think, the Kingsley, and they are always fighting for dominance and who's the head of the family. And in the first book, we have their sons who are competing to be named like the head of the company because their father is getting older. So this one beneath the palms kind of, so the book Under the Palms is book two in the series and continues on with what happened in the first book, which I'm not going to get into in case you haven't read it, but I really recommend it. It's a really dramatic, very fast-paced thriller. It was, it was a fun time. I don't know if some of it shocked me, some of it didn't. I liked how it ended. I really did. So that was what really interested me in reading book two because I want to see how the characters and stuff continue to evolve in book two. Next we have Granite Harbor by Peter Nichols. This is coming out on April 30th, 2024, and it takes place in a small coastal Maine town who is rocked to its core by a serial killer. Okay, so we have this small coastal Maine town. It's called Granite Harbor, and we have this place called The Settlement, which is like a historic settlement, and a teenager is found very brutally murdered there. And this is the first time in this town's history for a very long time that there's been any type of murder. So Alex, who is the detective in town, he's a struggling single father. He's never dealt with like a murder investigation before, but he's determined to bring justice to this poor teenager and his family. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna figure this out, I'm gonna do this. Simultaneously, we're also following Isabel, who is a single mother in town, and she has two teenagers, and she works at the settlement, which is where the teenager was found. And her two, like her son and daughter, were actually friends with the person who was found murdered. So they're devastated, and she's determined to keep her kids safe at all costs. So she actually gets involved with Alex, the detective, and the two of them are racing to find out what happened and to try to keep their own kids safe. So this one's had a, like a really interesting time. I like the setting for this one a lot and I like the kind of team up between a detective and somebody who's not in the field but they both have very strong reasons for wanting to get involved to protect their children so I think that's really great. Next one we have is It Had to Be You by Mary Higgins Clark. It's coming out on April 16th and this is book eight of the Under Suspicion series. This one has a very sad premise but it's also very fascinating and I'm curious what you guys think. So this basically follows these twin brothers and they are described as basically having everything. They got a loving parents, they are popular, they're considered very handsome, they're very intelligent, but the night of their college graduation, one of them is with their parents, the other one is not, and the one that's with the parents murders them for who knows what reason, but the other one has an ironclad alibi, but the police have never been able to arrest one of them because they are identical and they couldn't figure out which one actually did it. So years later they are, you know, the twins are married and they're estranged, always claiming that the other one did it. But the detective on the case is pulling things out of the works again and she's determined to really solve it and figure this out and give justice to the couple. And last but not least we have kind of a vacation-y one. This is called The Sleepwalkers. It's written by Scarlett Thomas and it's coming out on April 9th, 2024. So with this one we have Evelyn and Richard and they are going to this little Greek island for their honeymoon. They're really excited, although they've kind of hit it at a bad time because the storm season is about to approach, but they're determined to make the best of it. They check into the hotel, but Evelyn's feeling a little insecure because it's just filled with like models and stuff and it's just a little overwhelming and she also is nervous because the hotel manager, Isabel, seems to really have it out for Richard. Like she seems to be very interested in him even though that this is like the newly the newlyweds, which of course would make you feel pretty uncomfortable. And Isabel also really loves to tell the story about the sleepwalkers, which was a couple who ended up sleepwalking and ended up dying. And they ended up drowning, and this is one something that happened recently. And a lot of the guests seem very fascinated with this, except for one man who seems to have kind of an interesting relationship with some of the beautiful people on the island, and another like man who I guess owns like some shop there. Well, Evelyn starts to get more involved in the case, and her and her husband Richard end up getting separated, which leads to this kind of drama and secrets about the relationship coming to the forefront. So a lot of interesting premise. It sounds like 
primarily like a domestic thriller, but it sounds super interesting. I thought this sounded like a great like summer option. So that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know down below. What are your top three thriller releases that you're most excited for that are coming out in the next few months? I would love to hear it. I'll leave mine down below as well. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I do post new videos every week on this channel in the mystery and thriller genre. And I will have a new summer thriller release video coming out in May. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm super excited to share that with you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!